There were chaotic scenes as police tried to stop the looting in Abuja. This branch of the South African chain ShopRite is the object of the crowd's anger. It's a revenge attack after foreign-owned businesses in South Africa were targeted. We are out today to protest, to protest that this should not be continued again. They have, we have South African citizens inside this country. We leave them, we did not go. The investments are so much here. They are here. We did not hurt them. Why must they hurt our people? South Africa has responded by closing its diplomatic missions in Abuja and Lagos, saying it's necessary to protect its staff after a group of people tried to force their way into the Lagos consulate. After receiving reports and threats from some of the Nigerians, we decided to temporarily close while we are assessing the situation. So we will be monitoring the situation and when we see it necessary to open, we will reopen. As diplomatic tensions rise, Nigeria is boycotting the World Economic Forum on Africa in Cape Town. It's taking place this week. Meanwhile, protests have been taking place in Zambia, outside the South African High Commission. Students shouted no violence as they demonstrated against the events in Johannesburg. In recent years, attacks against foreign-owned businesses in South Africa have become a regular occurrence as frustration mounts over high rates of unemployment, currently around 29%.